uh, we are here to learn all about bookings, right? And so who would like more bookings on their calendar? Woo! There you go. Okay, so tell me <laughs> what good is going to come from more bookings on your calendar. Money. More money. money. More money. What else? Free Recruits. Stuff. Free stuff. Recruits. Recruits. Trips. Trips. Recruit leads. Trips. Trip. Incentive trip points. points. We want to go to Atlantis so. and Austin, right? Correct. Absolutely. I'm sorry? Products. Products. We like the products. Hello. There's probably a lot of us that started just for the products. And then consistency. Who would like that? Instead of having yes. a show here and then waiting a couple of months. So with this training, you are going to be fully prepared to have your calendar as booked as you want it to be. So I want you to take your spiral notebook and I want you to open it up to the first blank page. Okay, mine's not blank because I've already done this. So open that up, and okay, we're going to write this information on the first page. <clears throat> so we know that shows equal income, right? Yes. So shows equal income. So at two shows per month using the national average, and I'm just going to talk while you're writing because um, I can. So at two shows per month at the national average, you're going to have $500 in sales. That's going to be $1,000 in sales for the month. And that's going to be $220 in income for two shows. I can handle that. Um, at four shows per month, you're going to get $2,000 in sales, $460 in income. Six shows, $720 in income. And eight shows, $1,000 in income. And that is just the base commission. That's not counting any overrides that you're going to get as you get more and more sales. Uh, it's not counting when your shows are over $500. So it's only going to go up from here. And if you notice, Right now, pen. Okay, but you will tell us when we need to switch. Everything you're doing today, you could probably do in pen. Okay. Okay. So as most of you are finishing up, I want you, we've talked a whole lot this year about goals. Still the beginning of the year, although it's already March 15th, 16th. Um, and so you should already probably have an idea in mind of what you want out of your Pamper Chef business. And looking at this chart, I want you to think about where you want to be. What is your goal as far as income with Pamper Chef? Decide that right now, and then underneath here, I want you to write that down. What is your goal? My goal. Put a big star by it. Underneath the show? Underneath paper. this chart. Okay. I, I zoomed in on the video, too. You oh. can be right, and now you take it. Well, just in case. <laughs> Sheesh. I know. I don't, I don't have a notebook. What is your that goal? was a good idea. She was smart. Um. All right. Does anybody want to share their goal? Four shows. So that 460 car payment, right? Mm -hmm. At least. Good deal. Anybody else want to share? So I have one. I just want to make sure. $500 a yes, month. Okay. okay. Are you sure? That's okay. okay. Thank you. I'd like to have $1,000 in the world. That would be nice, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? Yes, Good. you can do okay. it. It's so easy when you put this to it, right? Two shows a week. How many people can go and work two times a week and make $1,000 a month? Pretty good deal. So, this is going to make this very achievable. 
for everybody. Okay, so goals are good, and it's necessary to know, <clears throat> excuse me, where you want to go and what you want, but then we need a system to help us get there, right? So we have this goal, this big pie in the sky dream, but we got to have a system, a pathway to get there. So this is going to be your little yellow brick road to help you get there. So systems support us and enrich our lives immediately today, right now, so that we can get there. Systems are the habits, are the golden path to anything we want in life, and they are the steps to achieve our goals. So truly, that is for everything. This is, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we talk about in Pamper Chef that has a lot bigger of a, a grand scheme of things that we can relate things to. The reasons consultants don't have the show schedule they desire is they don't call enough people or they don't call enough new people. So the key, so the key mm -hmm. is thinking of new business. How many of you feel like you keep calling the same people over and over again? So stop. Do you need a <laughs> sticky note? I bet Cindy can get us some sticky notes and we can put it on oh, our forehead yes. so that we can say stop calling the same people. Stop calling that same host over and over who won't return my call. Let's call some new people. So we're going to talk today about how we can get some new people to call, which would be a good thing, right? Because we're all guilty. We are all guilty. It's not like I am pointing any fingers because definitely talking to myself here. Who needs a sticky note? Right. Stop new calling. Write on this and stick it on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> or in your stick it on the top call. of your page. New contacts. <laughs> new contacts. I'll take it. It matches you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's just a day ahead for, for St. Patty's Day. Okay, so um, underneath where you have your goal, I want you to, I'm going to say it and then I'll repeat it so that you can write it down. At least 50% of your daily business needs to be new business. At least 50% of your daily business needs to be new business. That's why you're here, whether you knew it or not. <laughs> okay, so y'all got this? At least 50% of your day-to-day -day business needs to be new business. Do we have to, like, chant it together? Hold on. Oh, they're not ready. I'm sorry. Make sure you've written that in your notes in that did. first page. Because that's the key. It is the to key. System. Everybody ready? Let's chant. At least 50% of our daily business needs to be new business. Yay! <laughs> you did so good. I'm so proud. I used to be a teacher. Okay. So, high school teacher. Um, all right. So, today we are going to introduce the system that's going to help you achieve those goals. And that's this little notebook that we have. The, the system that's going to change your results and fill your calendar with bookings when implemented intentionally. Just having a spiral notebook with a bunch of numbers in it isn't going to help you if you don't fill it in. Um, it is a contact notebook system. Okay, so we are going to recommend that you use a hard copy. I know that a lot of us like to do electronic versions, but this is going to keep it in front of you. And when it is spiral bound, it's going to be all together and it's going to be very easy to keep track of. And if you have a notebook that stands out and you know that it's your bookings notebook, and if you have a plain notebook, write bookings notebook on the front of it, that's fine. Put some glitter if you want to. Um, okay, so what you're going to do, and I really hate glitter, but I, don't, I like glitter that doesn't come off. So, here's what you're going to do. You are going to take your notebook, okay, and you are going to number 1 through 10. You don't have to don't start yet. Okay, you're going to number down 1 through 10 on one side. You're going to draw a line halfway through. If you're OCD, you have to measure and draw your line like I did for all pages. And um, so you're going to draw your line, and then you're going to put so 1 through 10, and then 1 through 5 on this side. And Here. skip a line. And Please skip wait. a line. Notice, mm -hmm. well, you'll, I'll show you in a minute. At the beginning, I didn't think to skip a line, and it's a mess. So skip a line. And at the bottom, what I put at the bottom was action steps. Um, I think, Cindy, you may have called yours a little something different. I can't remember. Well, when I started using it, I realized I needed to have some follow-up notes. 
follow up notes. So my so my line goes down about three quarters of the way down the page, and then I've got follow up and a couple blank lines where I can literally write there what follow up activities I need to do, and then down below that results of my calls. We're going to teach you in a minute mm -hmm. we'll how to start that. monitoring your results. But um, so that's what does that make sense? That's what my page looked like. And it was a little trial and error because as I started making calls and talking to people, I started to realize I need to write down these <coughs> things I'm supposed to do. Or I'm what, did you have the, what did you we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Hang on just a second. Okay, so what you're going to do right now is you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your first 10 pages. Now, these are front and back, okay? So you're going to take your first 10 pages, um, number 1 through 10. You're going to draw the line halfway through and 1 through 5 and... This is going to be old business. Let me go to my tape. Hard so pages actually. The category with ten is going to be old business. There's one right side me. with five numbers, five spaces is going to be new business. Old business on the left with the ten, and then new business because fifty percent comes from new business, right? right? And that's going to be on the right, and then your action steps what have you, on the bottom. And you're just going to make 10 pages here at the beginning. And when you, you can go in the kitchen yes. or the dining room if you need to spread out or get on a table and make this. But also at the top of your page, write date and leave a blank and write time and leave a blank. So you don't forget to date the pages and, and put down the times that you make calls because you'll learn to find out what times seem to work better for you for calling people? And I was shocked when I did it because almost everybody answered at four in the afternoon. I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would answer then. So it was really interesting to note the times that I was getting results. I right, said so we're going to give you a couple minutes to do that, and, and you can take turns coming up here and getting refreshments while we make these pages. Is that good? And if you need to go to the dining room table or the kitchen table, spread out to make your ten pages. But we don't want anybody to leave here without ten pages made. Oh, one other thing I'll just throw out there that um, was mentioned that makes total sense to me. If you're a brand new consultant, basically <laughs> most of your business is going to be a new business at this point, right? So if you're just like in your first week or two of business, you may want to make the new side have 10 and the old side only have a couple until you get through you know, your first couple weeks of business, but then it needs to, it'll flip the other way, and then you'll start having old business after you've done some shows. We don't judge here. <laughs> Stop it. We can turn it off because it will only let me upload certain information.